The city of Bamberg is built on seven hills, just like Rome, and for a short period of time, the city was the capital of the Holy Roman Empire. Altenburg Fortress is situated on the highest of the seven hills. The fortress was already mentioned as the property of the religious foundation of St. Jacob in an official document dating from 1109. The Wascherschloss Concordia is a wonderful palace built on the water's edge in Bamberg's old town area. The building is in Baroque style and was constructed between 1716 and 1722 by Ignaz Tobias Bottinger. The palace has a garden and terrace, as well as access to the water. The elegant two-winged palace and its garden face the river, to which they're connected by a flight of steps. The opposite bank offers the most beautiful view of the massive water castle. Winding areas, narrow alleyways, baroque and romantic facades, and a medieval atmosphere make up the old town of Bamberg. Bamberg is a city with an original character and a very special atmosphere. 1,000 years of history are united in an old town, which is a cultural and architectural site of European rank. This is why UNESCO added Bamberg to the World Heritage List. In the genuine market square, there's a fountain with the figure of Neptune god of the sea. St. Martin's Church has a facade which was typical of churches of this order in the Baroque era. It was designed by George Dietzenhofer in the late 17th century and modelled on the Jesuit St. Martin's Church in Munich. The two iron cranes indicate that this was once the landing for freighters on the old canal. The old slaughterhouse faces the square with the cranes. The row of neatly kept historical houses along the River Rainitz is affectionately known as Little Venice. Most of these lovingly restored, half-timbered former fishermen's houses date back to the Middle Ages. The picturesque ensemble of little fishermen's houses makes a pleasant impression with high roofs and numerous gables. They have decorative facades with balconies, arbours and tiny front gardens. In Bamberg, the Old Town Hall is also known as the Island or Bridge Town Hall, since it was built on an artificial island on the river and is connected to the banks by two bridges each. A town hall on this particular site was already mentioned in 1386. The town hall's facade is painted in Baroque style, but the core of the Gothic building of 1463 has been preserved. During the Baroque era, Michael Kutschel converted it into Baroque and Rococo style. In addition to the wonderful architecture, the frescoes are particularly impressive because of their vividness. Bamberg's favourite saint, Kunigunde, looks down from her high pedestal with a gentle smile upon the ornately painted Bridgetown Hall. Any change to the facades of the 2,000 precious buildings requires special conservation planning permission. Here we see the beautiful gate, the entrance to the old household. Above the main portal, behind the enthroned Mother of God, are Heinrich and Kunigunde, flanked by St. Peter and St. George, the patrons of the cathedral. The major historical influences on the architecture of the area are medieval. Through the gate, we enter the picturesque inner courtyard of the old household, framed by an impressive ensemble of late Gothic residential and farm buildings dating from the 15th century. Half timbering, orioles, galleries and various types of dormer windows break up the large wall and roof areas. The old household was built in 1570 and over the years it served as chancellery, library and council. 
The four-winged complex of the new residence was built in two stages. Firstly, the two-winged section at the back was built from 1602 on, in Renaissance style, under Prince Bishop von Gebsattel. The Baroque wings facing the cathedral were built between 1697 and 1703. Today, the magnificent building complex houses the State Library as well as the State Gallery of Bamberg. Prince Bishop Friedrich Karl von Schonborn had this regularly symmetrical garden laid out by Balthasar Newman. After the site was brought to the same level, an axial system of paths and circular flower beds was laid out. The Imperial Cathedral, with its four towers on one of Bamberg's seven hills, is the heart of the city and one of the most important works of art in the surroundings. The third building, which has been preserved until today, was finished in 1237. Here stands the Gate of Grace. The tympanum shows the enthroned Mother of God, flanked by the Emperor and Empress. The statues that were once placed here on Adam's door are now housed in the neighbouring diocesan museum. In the middle of the long side, facing Cathedral Square, is the Prince's portal. The richly populated tympanum depicts the Last Judgment. The Apostles each stand on the shoulders of prophets. The Cathedral of Bamberg was sanctified in 1237. It's a marvellous example of architecture from the Romanesque to the Gothic period. It's about 94 metres long, 28 metres wide and 26 metres high. There's a beautiful nativity altar made in limewood by the famous artist Veit Stoss. Various tombstones and Renaissance statues are present in this part of the cathedral. The cathedral organ was built in 1868 This is the present-day tomb chest for Emperor Heinrich II and his wife Kunigunde. The crypt of the Imperial Cathedral is a stone chamber or vault beneath the floor of a church, usually used as a chapel or burial vault. The old town of Bamberg is a remarkable example of a central European town with a basically early medieval plan. The layout and architecture of the Bamberg quarters has exerted a considerable influence on urban form. The Privy Councillor and Electoral Prince Ignaz Bottinger succeeded in showing his wealth to his contemporaries through this first patrician palace, modelled according to Italian palazzi. It's still uncertain who the architect of this house was. Today it houses an art gallery. In the 13th century, the Carmelites founded a monastery in Bamberg's old town on the island. After the 1803 secularisation, all of the furnishings, including the numerous altars, were sold. Of the original valuable furnishing, the only ones which the Carmelites were able to purchase were an ancillary altar and the pulpit. The Romanesque arches of the cloister and the columns today account for the architectural charm of the imposing structure. They weren't added to the cloister until the second half of the 14th century. Besides this, one is impressed by the immense variety of plastic capital ornaments and their often seemingly fantastic graphical content. The Upper Parish Church of Our Lady was the largest construction project of the 14th century. It's the only purely Gothic church in Bamberg. Changes were made during the Baroque period, affecting the shape of the windows and the roof of the choir. Artistic monuments of interest line the outer facade. One special gem is the bridal door on the north side of the construction. In the multiple recesses under canopies, we recognise the five wise and five foolish virgins. Another item of interest is a wooden crucifix from 1500. 
The nave is 50 years older than the late Gothic choir, whose foundations were laid in 1375. Like many other sacral buildings in the city, the upper parish church of Our Lady was converted inside into Baroque at the beginning of the 18th century. The Baroque facade of St. Michael's Monastery and the adjoining building belie the fact that this monastery was founded way back in 1015, just eight years after the founding of the bishopric. The outdoor steps and the decorative facade of the church are largely the contribution of Dietzenhofer. The transept is evidence of the Romanesque architectural concept. A noteworthy item is the pulpit, which swings upward in very playful Rococo form until it nearly reaches the vaulting and is considered to be one of the loveliest in Franconia. In the background is the enormous high altar of St. Michael. The rich decorations, framed Baroque wooden statues and painted cherubs show that the monastery contains a vast amount of Baroque decoration. The Baroque choir was made even more elaborate in the mid-18th century by rich Rococo carving. The most important work of art in St. Michael's is the organ. The Baroque side altars are around 25 years older. Elaborate gravestones of Bamberg Prince Bishops are distributed along the two aisles. The Rococo shrine and its filigree construction form an impressive framed painting of the enthroned Mother of God, surrounded by her flock of angels with the Archangel Michael, who conquered the demons. A door at the end of the right aisle leads to the Chapel of the Holy Sepulchre, whose medieval core is scarcely discernible due to heavy modification during the Baroque period. Christ's sepulchre is covered by roof tile vaulting and crowned by a globe with a snake. Bamberg is an outstanding cultural and architectural highlight of any tour through Bavaria. <laughs>